that target. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Hey guys, this is Marco, and today we will be talking about tracking Dart. So apparently, the tracer is back. Yes, I call it a tracer because back in the day in Bad Company, we called it a tracer. So let's keep it that way. Well, what is the use of this tracer, you might ask? Well, back in the day of Bad Company 2, we had no stingers. We had only a few stationary anti-airs. If you played Rush, there was only one anti-air on each base. And when you played Conquest, there were a few anti-airs just on some of the flags. So, if the anti-air was destroyed, you couldn't defend yourself. So, that's when the tracer comes in. You just trace a chopper, you lock on with your RPG, and that's how you kill it. Now in Battlefield Hardline the tracer works the same way. You just fire your tracer, you switch to your RPG, you lock on, you fire, and the chopper, if he doesn't flare, he gets destroyed. Back in the day if you traced the chopper, I believe it was, it was traced forever. But right now in Battlefield Hardline this is not the case. Right here you see me and my friend Charlie testing it out. If you trace a chopper, it stays traced for exactly 30 seconds. Even though you have plenty of time to lock onto the chopper, don't forget the enemy can also use his flares. So after he flares, you, you still have to lock onto him again in order to kill him. So as you will see in a bit, the enemy becomes untraced after 30 seconds and then you will have to trace him again. As you will see right here, back in the day tracers had no bullet drop, it was like a laser. If you aimed at one spot, your tracer would hit at the exact same spot. Now it's interesting to know if it will react the same way in Battlefield Hardline. You will see me shoot Charlie in the head, and then after I will shoot him again, but from further away. As you can see, Charlie was hit at the exact same spot where I was aiming, so no bullet drop. Now what about the damage? I will be shooting Charlie until he dies. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, target marked. Every time I shoot him in the body, it takes 3% away from his health. And for some reason, I forgot to check the headshot damage, so I'm really sorry for that. Obviously this is not very effective, but if you're pro enough, you could troll some newbies this way. <laughs> I believe it took me 29 shots to kill the enemy, so again, this is not very effective. Well, that's about it. I hope I helped. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for our upcoming videos. Take care. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away.